Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Med Nuggets. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the pancreas. Your pancreas sits behind your stomach and in front of your spine. So if this is your spine and this is your stomach, your pancreas sits right here in between your stomach and your spine. Which means if you are to look at the pancreas from the front, like if your professor asks you to locate the pancreas in the anatomy lab, you're going to have to lift the stomach up in order to visualize the pancreas. The pancreas is a heterocrine gland. Hetero means different. So your pancreas contains two different types of tissues, exocrine tissue and endocrine tissue. Your pancreas is a part of both your digestive and endocrine systems. It's like a factory with two production lines. The exocrine part of your pancreas makes enzymes that help with digestion, such as trypsin and chymotrypsin that digest proteins, amylase which digests carbohydrates, and lipase which breaks down fats. The endocrine part of your pancreas makes hormones to control your blood sugar level, such as insulin and glucagon. The endocrine portion or tissue of the pancreas is made up of islets of Langerhans, which are cell clusters made up of beta and alpha cells. An islet is a small island. Your islets of Langerhans are these small islands made up of alpha and beta cells. Alpha cells make glucagon. Beta cells make insulin. So what's the function of insulin? Insulin is the hormone that decreases your body's blood glucose level. And how does it do that? When your body's sugar level increases, your body sends a signal to the pancreas. The beta cells of the pancreas, which are sensitive to high blood glucose levels, secrete insulin, which brings the blood glucose level down back to normal. So how does insulin bring down the blood glucose level? It acts on the liver adipose tissue, and muscle. In the liver, it promotes glycogenesis. Genesis means production or generation of glycogen. It also causes protein synthesis and increases amino acid uptake. Of course, you need more amino acids to make more proteins, right? So it increases the amino acid uptake. Then in the adipose tissue, it promotes lipogenesis the genesis or production of lipolipids, and it increases the glucose uptake in order to bring that blood glucose level down in the blood. At the level of the muscle, insulin again increases glucose uptake, protein synthesis, and amino acid uptake. So basically, you take that glucose right out of the blood and put it elsewhere in the form of protein and fat in order to decrease the glucose in the blood. So for people who are watching this video and is interested in weight loss, you want to try and keep those insulin levels low in your blood to stop lipogenesis. So now let's move on to glucagon. When your blood glucose is low, it sends a message to the pancreas to ask the alpha cells to increase the blood sugar level and bring it back up to normal. So how does glucagon work? It acts on your liver and adipose tissue. In the liver, it promotes gluconeogenesis, which is the neo, neo, genesis, production of glucose, and glycogenolysis, which is the lysis or breakdown of glycogen into glucose in order to increase the blood glucose level. Glucagon causes lipolysis, which is the breakdown of lipids at the level of the adipose tissue. Now let's move on to some common conditions that affect your pancreas. Diabetes occurs when your pancreas is not functioning properly or not doing what it's supposed to do. There are two types of diabetes called type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, your body doesn't make insulin due to autoimmune destruction of pancreatic beta cells meaning your body's own immune system, which is supposed to fight off foreign matter like germs or bacteria, is now attacking your own body cells. 
Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, is a condition that results from defective insulin. Your pancreas is able to make insulin here, but the insulin it's producing is not working or it's not able to do its job. Hypoglycemia arises when your pancreas produces too much insulin. Pancreatitis is a condition that happens when your enzymes get activated in the pancreas before they reach the duodenum where it's actually supposed to work and digest food. So that's all we have here for you today. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to get updates from our channel. Thanks for tuning in today and enjoy the rest of your day.